An interesting question has been whether or not I think that uh, the underlying cause of VSS is the same in all patients. And I think you have to have an understanding of network function in order to answer that. And if you look at transport networks and you take a city like Melbourne or indeed any city of five or six million people, it will have a complex public transport system and it will have interaction between trams, in Melbourne anyway, buses, trains and pedestrians. Now, input and output depend on who gets to the station on time, whether or not the bus pulls into the station on time, and it also depends on interactive functions at the centre of the network where everything meets. So disruption at any part of the network might ultimately result in more people not getting to work at all, more people getting to work late, some people getting to work early. So the answer is that we, visual snow syndrome is perceived as an output problem. Input is the same, but how it's processed in the middle, we don't, we don't know where the abnormality is coming from. We just know that output is disrupted. So the answer is no, I don't believe it's the same in every patient. I think there are many patients that will have dysfunction in the same area. But what, what you have to do is look at it as a network problem rather than a locational problem.